yellow. <laughs> it is the first day of October, but it is like boiling hot outside. <laughs> But I'm so glad it's fall and we're gonna make some really fun fall cookies, some butternut squash cookies. I've made these before and they were so fun and so cute and so good. So I had to make these for the channel. Uh, yeah, how, how have you guys been doing? I feel like it's been a little while. It hasn't been that long, but, um, but yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's a beautiful day over here today and I'm ready to make some butternut squash cookies today. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I've got some butternut squash. I'm gonna start with the wet ingredients. I know I'm kind of funky the way I do things. You can do the wet ingredients in one bowl, the dry ingredients in another, but I'm just a little funky like that. I like to do things differently. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my butternut squash and uh, my tahini is going overboard. I'm gonna throw in some tahini. Like I said, I made them before last fall and they were just so cute. I was like, I'm gonna have to make these again. And I used butter the last time I made them, so that works great in this recipe. But I'm gonna use tahini today. Cashew butter works even better. Oh my God, cashew butter is like the perfect sub for butter. All right, so we're just creaming the butternut squash and the tahini together. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the sugar and cream that in as well. So you can use whatever dark unrefined sugar that you prefer. Brown sugar works great, that's what I'm using here. But you can use maple, date sugar. This is very, very friendly. So it is not very particular. As long as you throw some sugar in here, you should be fine, right? So I'm just creaming all of these ingredients together. And just gonna add a little bit of plant milk and I'll kind of measure it out and tell you guys how much I actually add to this. So I always like to have milk on hand because I never know. Like I said, this is Kitchen Diaries, so a lot of times I'm experimenting. These videos are like <laughs> experimental, right? And it's nothing like fall bacon, right? I mean, you got this whole different like season coming in. It's like this great atmosphere to bake in. It's getting cozy. It's getting beautiful outside the trees. The, the leaves are full of color and falling off the trees. It's just beautiful. So I added in some vanilla, right? So we got the vanilla added in here. So now we're going to add in our flowers. I've got a half a cup of almond flour and then I've got of gluten-free all-purpose flour. I'm using the Bob Mill uh, blend. And then I'm just gonna throw in some cinnamon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I don't really measure my spices like that. I'm um, just not one of those type of people. But I'm throwing in some uh, pumpkin pie spice and some cinnamon. You can use about one to two teaspoons of whatever spice you like. Um, it's totally up to you, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and cream this together. Oh, and also, we need our baking agents. So, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of baking soda and a little bit of baking powder. I also wanna show you guys um, about, about a half a teaspoon or a fourth a teaspoon, depending on how much leavening you're okay with. I also wanna show you, I got my baking substitute, which I'm gonna be using very soon. I'm still testing it out to see how much I need but I've got baking soda and I've got some baking powder back there. It's called Energy um, and there's no salt in it, so that's great. So yeah, this mixture looks a little funky right now. Yeah, so you just wanna set this in the fridge for a couple of minutes until the dough gets together where you can handle it and then we're gonna bake it, right? So I'm gonna put this in the fridge just for a little bit and then I will be back. I'm back, okay, so let's get our pan. And I let it sit just long enough for it to, you know, for me to be able to grab the dough and shake the cookies. And now the cookies are going to be placed up here. I'm going to use my cookie scoop here. I'll scoop out ones and then shape it how I want it. So next we have a frosting. Now you can use a cashew frosting, uh, whatever you want. I'm going to use some organic powdered sugar and you can make organic whole food powdered sugar. Um, and if you like, but we're gonna use that to make the eyes and then you can use whatever drizzle you want. Cashew drizzle, whatever you want, or you can just do the drizzle, it's totally up to you. 
This is my sister. <laughs> I'm gonna taste one after. Yes, she's gonna taste one. Uh. All right. These are going in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. make these just make sure you get some parchment paper and maybe put a little oil on it so they won't stick uh, it's totally up to you like I said if you don't want to use the googly eyes sprinkle some raw sugar on top of the cookies or just leave the cookies as is or use a cashew icing that works too but I really think this is fun I think that you guys are gonna love doing this it is so much fun and like I said the tapioca starch uh, stiffens the powdered sugar so it makes it like a dough so I'm just making a bunch of little googly eyes and uh, yeah I have to make some food for fall um, event that we're doing and I, I might make these I'm pretty sure I will because um, they're just so fall friendly you know um, so yeah but there's lots of ways you can do this you don't have to do it with powdered sugar there's lots of ways to make googly eyes, you know, but this is just the way I'm going to do it today. Um, it's the easiest, right? So the cookies are almost done. Uh, yeah, I didn't even kind of time them. I didn't time it, but I just kind of peeked my head in the oven to see how they're looking. They're looking good. So, um, but after you roll them up, all you do is you take a chocolate chip, put it right in the middle. Right. Let me see if I can take one off. Yeah, there we go. This is a little big, but this is how they end up looking, right? So, it's, it's really cute. It's so cute. That's how they're looking, look at that. <laughs> These are little eyeballs, right? And like I said, make them a little smaller than I'm doing. I'm just kind of making them a little big, but you can make them a little smaller than that. This is so fun if you want to get the kids in the kitchen, you know, uh, to decorate the cookies after you make them. Oh, that would be so much fun. Okay, the googly eyes are going on. My sister's coming for a taste. I just did a drizzle. You can do whatever type of drizzle you want. And then I just put the eyes up here. Oh my God, these are so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> I feel like they need some mouths now, like a mouth. Yeah, that's how I was saying. Yeah. like eyes. <laughs> you should have did um, a drizzle, like a smile or something. Yeah, I should have did the drizzle. But maybe next time. These are mouthless. They they cannot speak poor things. Okay, thank you. I'll just put two more eyeballs. Yeah, they... That one look like it's smiling. Yeah, and I put I put the eyeballs in the freezer to kind of set. So there we go. Yeah, I know you had to. Yeah. My sister's here to join me to try these. They're so cute, aren't they? Yes, They're so cute. Like to <laughs> They're almost too cute to eat. Okay, come on, let's dive in and try one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. One, two, three. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's really good, right, dude? Mmm. Mm. You did you use butter? Mmm. -mm. It tastes like butter. <laughs> Buttery goodness. See you guys? Mm. They taste just as good without butter. Yeah. Mm. I used tahini. Mm. Mm. And then it's like the, the mm. frosting just complements the butternut squash and all that. You wipe these crumbs off. Okay, we've gotten her some milk. She's already oh. dipping it in milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, for more cute little delicious recipes, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's a beautiful day. We hope you guys have a great day. Yes. <laughs> have a wonderful day, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> mm, that's it.